What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today we're going to be talking about one product dropshipping stores. Now this is something that's gotten a ton of attention recently so we're going to be diving into the pros and cons and ultimately deciding if you should start one. Let's get into the video. Okay, so before we get into everything, I just want to say that I don't currently run any one product stores and I'll explain why. But I do think one product dropshipping stores can be really effective and I really like the idea of simplifying your store. I hate it when beginners start dropshipping and they launch their store with like six different categories and like 75 different products because what people need to understand is that most dropshipping stores make the vast majority of their income from like one or two winning products. The whole idea of a one product dropshipping store is just focusing on that one winning product and scaling it as far as you can. Now I firmly believe that you should center your store around your winning products, but I don't think that necessarily means that you can only sell one product. My whole problem with one product dropshipping stores is that they basically eliminate the ability to upsell and to get repeat customers. Here's the stats on one of my stores for this year. As you can see, I have one winning product that accounts for the majority of my sales, but 45% of my sales, or about $43,000, is from other products. That is incredibly significant, and I would not want to lose those sales. You're looking at a niche store that's centered around that one winning product. Having a niche store allows me to test other niche products and it allows me to build a bigger presence in my niche. With a one product store, you're obviously only going to be able to sell one product, which means you better be sure it's a product that works. This usually means that you're going to have to test that product using a general store. And once you have found a winning product on your general store, then you can either create a one product store or create a niche store that's centered around that winning product. There are definitely some advantages to a one product store, one of those being your conversion rate. A one product store is almost always going to have a higher conversion rate because in my opinion, it conveys a stronger brand image, you look less like a dropshipping store, and there's less distractions for people that land on your website. Another advantage to a one product store is that there's less to worry about. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of keeping things simple, and I'm sure it's a lot easier to scale when you only have one product to worry about. However, I'm not a huge fan of putting all of your eggs in one basket, which for me is why I don't think a one product dropshipping store should be the only store that you run. If you do have time to run multiple stores, then a one product store can be an easy way to cash in on a winning product. I really hope you guys took some value out of this video, and if so, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button below. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.